Well, welcome to the Top Gun Show, where I try to bring you new providers, new technologies, and introduce you to the best professionals in the industry, all so you can make informed decisions. Today, I'd like to welcome Mike Fiocco, the CRO of Windstream, the sponsor of the Top Gun Show. Mike comes with more than 30 years of multi-dimensional leadership experience throughout sales, technology, change management, and operational innovation. He has an extensive history of producing significant revenue growth for companies ranging from startup to global Fortune 500, which has enabled Mike to create successful responses to new challenges and raise significant investments and development capital. Mike, welcome to the Top Gun Show. Hey, Steve, good to be with you. Uh, let me applaud you on your success here. This is a great platform. Um, I hope you uh, appreciate the message about Windstream and, and what we're going to share today, Steve. So thanks for having me. Well, thanks for following the show, man. If I got somebody like you following it, I think everybody needs to follow it. And I also think it's great. Windstream, I'm not sure of all the years I've been in the business, I've, I've ever seen a provider that has been on the move as consistently as Windstream. So I'm glad we're starting at the top with you today, uh, the first episode. Why don't you talk a little bit about the company and, and what, what it is you guys do at Windstream? Sure. I joined Windstream just over a year ago, Steve. And part of the reason I joined Windstream is great culture, great leadership, and, a, and the right strategy. But Windstream is a leading managed services provider. And our purpose is to drive enterprise transformation and better business outcomes for our customers. And I want to emphasize the better business outcomes. When you look at our suite of uh, cloud-enabled connectivity, communications and security solutions, Steve, along with our managed services portfolio, all of that, by the way, is backed by an advanced technology team. We're able to streamline operations. We're able to enhance productivity and elevate the experience of our clients and their end users while securing their critical data and brand reputation. But it's our mission to unlock our clients revenue and profitability potential, Steve. Nice. Good answer. I love that. I love that. Good overview. So tell me, who are your customers? Uh, who's your ideal customer? Who, 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 who are you guys selling and what is it that you're selling to them? Yeah, there's a whole bunch of ways to answer this question, Steve, but let's start with the enterprise. Windstream Enterprise is entirely focused on the enterprise uh, for our target customers. And when you focus on outcomes, which I mentioned earlier, Steve, you realize that our customers come from many technology areas within a company a CIO, a CHRO, a CFO, a CISO. Our customers are large enterprise in our key verticals. We have retail, we have healthcare, we have financial services, we have manufacturing, and our state and local government uh, vertical as well, who typically have a number of geographically dispersed locations and limited IT resources. So that's where our focus is. But we're a great fit for any company that's constantly wrestling with network performance issues. They have hardware refresh and or data center renewals in the near term. Um, not sure how to get the most out of their connectivity. And they lack the internal expertise to manage and grow network and security needs. When you take a look at Gartner and Gartner Research, they revealed that massive shifts, massive, Steve, inside the enterprise IT spend is driven by challenges and new marketplace demands. As an example, 77% of our CISOs believe that their limited bandwidth and lack of resources had led to important security initiatives falling to the wayside. Think about that. But 79% of these CISOs claim that they have received complaints from board members, from colleagues, employees, that security tasks are not being handled effectively. If I shift to the CIOs, CIOs are refocusing on longer return on investment or ROI initiatives, including digital transformation. Every company has talked about that. When you look at the emergence of blockchain and artificial intelligence, Steve, and evaluating outcomes through the lens of a technology journey versus a transactional based activities, which is what's been happening in the past. So think about that as well with these emerging technologies. So these return on investments and longer term type strategies. But in the near term, CIOs will be forced to balance this uh, increased IT demand, but dwindling IT staffing levels. I just had a conversation with the CIO uh, not too long ago where he said just over the course since the end of, or the beginning of the pandemic in 2020, his IT staff has literally shrunk in half. His telecommunications staff is a team of three. 
And his simple plea to me was, Mike, I cannot keep pace with both emerging technologies, the asks of the business, the asks of our customers, just based on my IT uh, staffing levels and the fight for what is the IT talent inside the marketplace. So that's kind of who our customers are, Steve, what we're focused on. Yeah, what a, what a good explanation. And you're right, man. Uh, IT teams are being forced to do a lot more with a lot less, and they can't they can't keep up with the emerging technologies. So, um, yeah, Windstream is a great solution for those types of customers. You know, you've been there you've been there a year, a little over a year. What would you say is your main focus right now uh, at Windstream Enterprise? Well, <clears throat> as CRO, my first responsibility is to build and manage a sustainable and profitable enterprise sales and solutions organization, Steve. Many people confuse orchestration with alignment, Steve, but they're not the same. Simply stated, orchestration is the execution of an alignment model. You think about a conductor. She can have all the wind instruments in the right section. She can have all the percussion instruments in another area, et cetera, et cetera. All of it to make sure that they take advantage of the acoustics that may exist in a particular venue. But that doesn't guarantee a beautiful sound doesn't guarantee perfect timing, or it doesn't guarantee exceptional talent sitting in each one of those instruments. Orchestration brings that together. There's no limit to great things when we continue to achieve with our collective and collaborative mindset. Orchestration is something that I've been focusing in on right now, making sure that Elizabeth Orth, who runs our service assurance organization, Steve, she is orchestrating with my sales organization, or, or Emily McGinn, who you're going to be hearing from that her team from a delivery and project management is orchestrating. The same thing with my marketing team, the same thing with my executive leadership team. The entire organization is orchestrating. And I think our clients should expect that from us. They should expect to see in our proposals, in their experience with Windstream, they see this orchestration coming through everything that we do. So when I joined Windstream last year, I noticed the company had a unique opportunity like unlike anyone else in the marketplace, I was with my previous job over 13 years, but we have an opportunity to re reinvent the new managed services provider motion, <clears throat> offering an entirely new set of curated solutions, Steve, that ease the burdens related to the operation and optimization, optimization of technology. So we don't have to redefine ourselves, Steve. That's what I love about Windstream. I think we've created an agile organization where we could either keep pace or in some instances, outpace the competition and outpace the marketplace so that we can consume technology and make sure that we positively affect our customers' business outcomes. Hope I answered your question. Drop, drop the mic. Drop the mic. That was great. I love the concept of orchestration. I mean, based on your background, you're a great conductor. You know how to make the make the music, you know, and bring out the best of the different departments. So I'm excited about seeing what what's next at Windstream and the, the interviews uh, in the next few weeks. So I know you, Mike, I know you're a big fan of the Top Gun show. You mentioned it. And then I know you know there are millions and millions of people watching you right now. Why don't you tell the viewers a fun little known fact about yourself? Oh, goodness. Uh, if I could just offer two little things that I love to spend my time with. So um, I've been a singer since I've been a young boy. My father was a do-up guy on the streets of Brooklyn and... God-given talent of being able to sing. So I spent a little time with some friends and we published some stuff out on Apple Music and Spotify. We just did a release not too long ago. So I love music. I spent a lot of time doing it. And the second thing is I did one of my bucket lists last year, Steve. And uh, I am the proud owner of a 917-pound Harley-Davidson Ultra Limited. And uh, my wife and I just enjoy our time on that motorcycle as, as much as we can on the weekends and the mornings. We spend our time riding the motorcycle. So one check off the bucket list, Steve. Well, that's great. I expect to see you someday heading down the freeway on your Harley singing, combining <laughs> both of those things. I think you want that. My neighbor's not so much because they see that too often, I think. <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. Well, Mike, I know you're a busy guy. I really appreciate you carving out time out of your busy schedule to be on the Top Gun Show, man. I really appreciate it. I wish you the best of luck, and thanks for having me, Steve. Thank you. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye-bye.